Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I know I haven't been on in a while. I don't get on here this morning because of church. It really inspired me this morning to really, you know, put my voice out there and put my opinion out there in this world and everything that's going on in it. First of all, I want to I wanna tell Ryan up church, thank you so much for being not only an awesome artist, but an awesome man. Thank you for being such an inspiration to many of us. You're showing everyone what God sent us here to do, and that's to help one another, not to knock each other down. And you see, that's the problem, is we have too much of that going on nowadays, guys. You know, why are we knocking people down? Just, just because, you know, they go through a bad rut in their life, you know, that they're on drugs or, you know, what have you. It's their life that they're living, and unless they're affecting you, that has nothing to do with this at all. And I don't understand why people don't understand that. You know, I mean, I don't understand why people think it's okay to sit there and bash people. You know, church bought this van for this guy that had nothing, no family, a dog, no transportation. And he said that there's a comment on there that says, he's, oh, that dude's on drugs. So what if he is? Like he said, like church says, so what if he is? That's his life. And what he's doing with it, the only person that he has to answer to is God, not anybody else. Especially the social media. That's where people, a lot of people are messed up nowadays, is they rely too much on the social media and the fake news going on. But you won't see truth even when it hits you in the face. Because you're so wrapped up and your mind is so bottled with the negativity and the false accusations of the false news that you don't know truth if it hits you right in the face. People, we're not here for ourselves. We're here for God and God alone. He put each and every single one of us here on this earth to do a certain job. And all of us have a different job. Not either one of us have the same. You know, it really bothers me that we have a lot of this hate going on. You know, with, especially with this presidential run and all that. You know, the saying, what's done in the dark will come to light. What's done in the dark will come to the light. God has his hand on every single thing that, that's done here. Okay? As, when I say he has his hand in it, which means he has a control. We think we have control. No, we've never had control from the beginning of time. And that's what God tries to remind us. That's why we need to rely on him every day of our lives. Not just one day, not just Sunday, not just Wednesday, every day. I'm not perfect by any means. I don't go to church every day. But I dang sure try to keep close to him. Because we are the temple. And I feel like if you can't keep, if you can't have your temple pure, then what makes you think you have the right to reach your foot or step your foot on the side of God's house? Because God doesn't like hypocrites. And I don't want to be one of those. So, I'm sorry to come on here and rant. My point in all this is, stop judging, we're not God. But the what people are doing with their lives, unless they're affecting you and your family and what you're doing, then don't be concerned about what they're doing. If anything, want to help them. Want to encourage them to get out of a bad spot. Just like church said. I'm going to end it here. God bless y'all. And I pray that each and, each and every single one of us on this world can actually pull all of our heads out right out of our asses and point our eyes towards the sky, toward heaven and ask God exactly what he wants us to do. Because obviously what we're doing, it ain't working. We need God in this world. He needs to be first. And until that happens again, we're all going to have the problems that we have. So let's all remember to pray each and every single day. Anytime you feel the need. And ask for forgiveness. Because that's why Jesus died on the cross. For our lives and for our sins. I love y'all. Take care.
Glad to see y'all again. Peace.